What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have yet again another WWE figure custom fix-ups video for you guys. Again, um, just like yesterday, we posted a video where we had a bunch of customs um, to show you guys that I had made over the past few days. And we have three more right here today to show you. If you have not seen that video from yesterday, please go find that video and watch it. It was very awesome. We had, a, like I think, eight or nine custom figures that were really awesome. So definitely go check that out. But today we have three new custom slash fix-ups for you guys, and we're going to go through them right now. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, starting things off, we have these two different Edge custom slash fix up right here. And I love the way both of them came out. I would love to know your opinion on the two, but I'm going to go through the uh, the steps we took to make both of these. Okay, so first off on the right right here, we have this ringside exclusive Edge with a head swap. As you see, I love this head scan. I think this is the best head scan um, that they have ever made for Edge. I would like to see a new one made, but I think this is my favorite by far. You know, he's sort of pissed off looking. Um, he is the first ever MDT champion for the PickFed. That is why he has his championship right here. But if we take off the beautiful title belt right there, set that down nicely so we don't harm it because it is the most coveted prize in the land. But um, ringside exclusive edge, like I was talking about, I did do an arm swap between the two. Um, as you see, I wanted this one to have the rated R wristbands on there. But anyways, back to this one. I didn't do anything with the torso. I left the torso the way it was. I didn't have an extra one to throw on here. Um, but the big part is the head swap, and then right here at the lower legs, I switched the kick pads with this one. So I, uh, yeah, it was basically just a kick pad swap, and I hate that you can't really get rid of this ring or whatever. I wish it was fully just, you know, popped it off and it wouldn't leave the ring at the top. But as you look at it, though, it kind of looks pretty badass because it contrasts well. You have the red and the star on the circle there, or whatever you want to call that. Um, in the logo and then of course on the rated R on the crotch so I mean I think it goes pretty nicely together and I've never seen anybody do this so I thought it would be pretty dope let me know what you think of this in the comment section below and then this one right here looks super bad eh? I think you know how we did the ultimate Kevin Owens fix up video we need to do an ultimate edge fix up video because this right here looks just like edge rated R championship on there just for kicks but um this is a Terry Funk torso, and to me, if you watch my WWE figure pet peeves video, you would know that um, this torso right here would look way better on Edge, on Chris Jericho, even on Daniel Bryan, really. This torso just is a lot more accurate, and it just makes the figure look so much more better. So if you look at this, this clearly is just, man, I love the way this looks now. But um, again, we did do an arm swap here, as you see there. We did a head swap. It used to be the smiling one. This is, of course, the Hall of Fame Edge base. We did a head swap with that same head scan, and I love the way, like, God, this is this is probably one of my favorite fix-ups in my collection now. But I'm um, in the kick pads right here. If you guys have seen, you can go to Google or whatever. Maybe I can bring up a picture of it. Uh, Edge's camo and red gear is very, very nice. It's one of his most... Uh, uh, famous attires that he's worn in his career. I know that the R is supposed to be red, and I think the rated R Superstar text is supposed to be red with maybe a black star on that attire, but I think this still looks pretty dope. Um, I think the black really blends in. You really can't tell that there's an ending right there. It kind of just looks like it goes straight into kick pads. So the camo design, and then you have black right there. There is, there is that little stripe on the back, but that's no big deal. I could either cover it or remove it, but it doesn't really bother me that much. But yeah, the red kick pads with that figure right there just looks so dope. So I am happy with both of these edges. Um, I've been wanting to do this fix-up for a long time, but now I finally found the time. But this is the way you will see the MDT champion on MDT Live from now on. So you will no longer be seeing the skinny body mold. It will only be this. And I'll probably be switching this torso one day, so... Uh, when that happens, you'll probably see both of these different attires on the show. But now we can get into the Roman Reigns custom. Alright guys, getting into the other custom we have on this video. It's this Roman Reigns. And it is this United States sort of inspired. It's sort of like a United States Championship inspired attire. It's like if he were U.S. Champion like he was. Um, this would have been the perfect opportunity to uh, rock this uh, attire right here. I think this is super awesome. I love the way it looks with the U.S. Championship on there. But here is it without it. It is uh, that Elite 51 head scan. Um, I only had a Shield Elite to use, so that is why he does not have the tattoo under there. So uh, it won't be a big deal. Um, all I have to do is switch the head or just switch the vest onto a different Roman when I get an extra one. So nothing big there. But you have the United States flag behind the Roman Reigns logo. Gold trim surrounding that. Gold trim going around the neck there, around the uh, 
cuffs around the uh, vest there and then on the sides you have this navy blue color like you find behind the flag going in right here i all hand painted this the designs on the back as well um that mark right there on his back was already there which kind of sucks but no biggie uh again this was the orange vest i believe so i just painted over that orange with the navy blue added the gold and then the decal from uh, curb stump city custom decals which is an absolute man at making decals definitely go check him out on instagram but yeah that is the roman reigns again i love the way this thing came out especially with the u.s championship like look at that that's freaking that's money shot right there but um yeah that is the last custom on this video but yeah guys that is all the customs we have for this video today if you did enjoy it leave a like leave a comment down below your favorite custom from this video what do you think of this united states roman reigns and how does it compare to the uh, intercontinental championship white attire roman reigns that we showed yesterday what do you think of these edge fix-ups let me down, let me know down in the comment section below subscribe for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much